Hey folks, I was having a wee bit of a look through the um, DCS API information which is available on Wiki and I discovered a few commands which look kind of cool. Now I tried them out a couple of weeks ago in 2.56 and it was nice but it crashed all the clients connected. Now apparently this is fixed in 2.7 so uh, I may or may not get around to finishing this off and releasing it at some point. So here we go. What do the new API uh, functions give us? They give us the ability to create and draw shapes on the map and other people can see them. So let's, I don't know, let's go for a normal sort of use case we'd maybe do. So what have we got here? It's about 18K. So say we wanted to put in an enemy, like, I don't know, front line or something. So I'm gonna draw a rectangle. I'm gonna set it for everybody. That's what the A is for, for all. So options are A, A for every everybody on the server, B for blue side, R for red, and N for neutral. The next parameter is the, um, the down component of drawing the rectangle. So it's gonna draw the rectangle from where I put the mark to how many meters down and then how many meters out to the right I wanna place it. So I'm gonna go for 18 kilometers down. So this is meters. And make the front line a thousand meters across. And we'll go for a draw color. So I've got three presets right now. I've got red, green, blue, or white. And R is for red. So there we go, we've got our enemy front line. So let's uh, let's draw a couple of LOE things. We'll say, let's draw a circle. That's for everybody, and um, we'll make it say three kilometers in radius. And color will go for red again because it's the bad guys. Okay. And let's see them again. Right, so there's our front line. There's maybe two enemy positions. So I don't know, let's mark our landing zone where our guys are going to come ashore and that's the center position so circles draw from the center position out so um, just click on where you want it to go and then set how big you want it so let's do um, let's do some forces move from that position so let's draw an arrow let's draw it right there so this is where the arrow is gonna the point is going to be so first parameter is who we're gonna draw it for next is the length I'm gonna go for mm, let's say 18 kilometers and the next parameter is where do we want the arrow pointing from so if we want it pointing from basically pointing north we put in the degree component which is 180 and the next off is the color Let's go for blue okay so we're going to send some forces there and then we'll do another circle the 5k and we'll do blue that's going to be our another position and let's do some other stuff. Let's move some forces along here to attack this. That's a wee bit off. Right there. Uh, there we go. So th that's sort of the stuff we can do here. That's a wee bit off. Let's fix that one. Just remove the mark. Go back in. We'll change that degree to about say two sixty. Be a bit better looking. Yeah, it's a bit better looking. So yeah, I mean you can pretty much draw stuff on the map. Um, live using DCS API, which is kind of neat. Um, let's say there's another base here. Make a white. So yeah, I mean you can draw all sorts of stuff on this, and because it's through the scripting API, it also means you could 
um, you could have, say, for example, this uh, this front line. Um, if we break through and you know take out these targets, then you can move the front line back to here, and you could script all this to happen uh, in your mission as your mission progresses. So you can add marks, remove them, and all this sort of stuff. Can't move them around the map, but there's nothing to stop and you deleting the old one and creating a new one at the the location. So for getting rid of the circle, for example. I just click into the set, roughly into the center of it. For squares, it's the top left because that's its, its draw position basically. And with the arrows, it's pretty much on the arrow. So let's do an example arrow, say 10k uh, from zero, and we'll do it red. Degree, let's say forty five degrees. Do red again. So yeah, I mean it's it's possible to draw this sort of stuff and automate it. So this is something I was just been fiddling around with for a couple of days. So just get rid of the arrow by targeting the point. And there you go. So yeah, I mean I guess it could be kind of useful for um, going forward. It's a pity there isn't a built-in map tools like the way Arma has, because Arma's built-in map tools are really, really good on you know, multiplayer. Um, they're just like presets up here. You just click on something and then draw away and just do the business. And you do freehand drawing as well. So it would be nice if DCS would uh, give us that functionality.